everybody, we've got two parts to this video here. The first part is actually just gonna be going over the simple wiring and putting that together. And then the second part is going to be if you need to add a charging system to your engine. And we'll go over this Predator right here, for example, has a clone flywheel in there. This is a Predator Mount Hemi with a clone flywheel. <laughs> go karts! This is an engine that came off of a Coleman mini bike, and I'll show you how to get that going as well. Let's start! Okay, so if you're looking for a wiring diagram, I do have this wiring diagram here that I made off of a better wiring diagram. You can pause it if you'd like, take a look at that. Now let's go into the wires themselves. You are gonna have your charging coil or coils. I prefer two of them coming off of the engine. They are going to be brown, yellow, or pink. So I've tried to color code everything in this wiring set for you, make it very easy. But I would appreciate a thumbs up because I went to three different places to try and color code this for you and I ended up spray painting it yellow. Hopefully it's gonna just make it easier for you to follow along. Taking a look at the connectors that I used, I used about a dozen male connectors and just a couple less on the female connectors. Three eye hole, eyelid hooks and then three with blue leads, a female, a male, and an eyelet hook. Two female and two male, we're gonna be coming off of our charging system. Again, you may have one coil on your charging system. You can add an additional coil to your charging system, but these are just gonna connect in here. Your, your males will go into the charging. The females, those two, will be coming out to, this is a regulator rectifier. It both converts AC to DC to be able to charge your battery as well as keeps things below 15 volts so it doesn't blow out your battery or blow out your lights. In the middle, you are gonna see either a pink and a yellow wire or as you can see on this one here, a yellow and a yellow wire. The regulator rectifier with which is linked up with all males. So now you have your charging system coming into your rectifier and your power is gonna be going out. Your power is going out to two different places, but the first thing it hooks up to is your battery. This particular battery is a YTXL-BS battery and it is a gel type battery. It has diagnostics directly on the battery itself. So we're gonna be running our hot and our ground coming off of there, red and green. Now the green, is going to come up to this little wiring harness that I put together here and I will go into a close-up for you momentarily. The red. Red is going to have an inline fuse and I'm using a 15 amp. This inline fuse may have a thicker wire and that's just where I use one of the blue female connectors and then the blue eyelet. The blue eyelet is going to be connecting directly onto your battery as you can see here. It can bolt onto your battery and then you have a male that comes off of there and then these two wires here are just spliced together. So this will come right off of your regulator rectifier on so, and it has the eye hook or the eye eyelet that's gonna connect to the red terminal on your battery. This lead directly connecting to the battery is gonna be going up to your lights. And your red is gonna connect right into the red of that line. LED lights, now these are projection lights Projection lights are going to give you a really good focus in the distance. You can get non-LED lights in, a, in a, a wide beam like this one. For the LED lights, you're going to notice that the red has a female connector and the black has a male connector. The black coming off of the lights is going to go to your switch. We have a switch. The switch has green with a male and black with a female. This brings us to our grounding harness. Over here, I have one of the blue male connectors, and that ties together three wires. You can sort of ignore this one right here if you'd like. I put that one in there just so I have a really good quick disconnect from the battery directly, and I can change out the battery if I need to without taking off the leads. So with the male coming in, I'm gonna have two females coming out, and then one eyelet hook coming out of here as well, or one, one eyelet connector coming out. That goes directly bolted onto the battery. The wire going out to our engine is the one that goes into that blue male connector right there. So we have a female connecting to that blue, blue male, and then that hooks up to the engine on one side, that hooks up to the battery on the other side. Then we have one place for our 
re regulator rectifier, and one place for our light switch. So it's really nice that you can run these lights without the engine running. You can flip the engine on, it charges the battery, or you can charge the battery in maintain mode and run the lights off of it. So got my lights going, got the engine, uh, the engine right now has a flywheel from the Honda Clone, so I'm running a Predator non Hemi with a Honda Clone flywheel, and it's going. Hey, alright, let's take a look at our charging of flywheel options. Now, I've gone over a couple of them, I've checked the tape around them, and I have learned that a lot of clone flywheels, such as the one that I'm holding right here, will fit in a Predator non Hemi engine. If you have a Predator Hemi engine that you're swapping out, there is a Kohler part number I'm going to try and put in the description below, but I have not tested that out. The options to choose between now. This is an engine that came with the flywheel and with the charging system. Bink, these are generic Predator engines. Each one of them costs about $100. I'm gonna say before you start any of this, make sure that your engine actually runs first. So if you are buying a new Predator engine to swap into, make sure that you put oil, gas, and check it out that it runs first. So the flywheel from this engine right here is actually in this engine right here and it's working completely ready to go. This engine is a 196cc engine came off of a Coleman mini bike. This Coleman mini bike was the BT200X and it came with this light bulb of sorts to start. If you do not yet have your engine, bink, and you think that the Predator is the best option to put a flywheel system into, it is most definitely not. I'm gonna say, take a look at the Tillotson 212E. Supposedly has a flywheel rated at 10,000 RPMs, but I have not confirmed this yet, and I do not know what else that flywheel fits on, but you can get something with electric start with the charging coil systems in place already. The Coleman mini bike engine. If you have your old Coleman engine and you swapped out to a Predator and it happens to be the non-Hemi, great. You can take that, put it in here. You're gonna need a couple things to do so. If you purchase a flywheel online, this is one that you can see. It says it fits the Predator engine but it's rated probably, I would not trust it to 5,000 RPM. It is very poorly made. I've gone through a couple of them simply because they weren't even machined correctly. This charging system right here cost about $100 on top of a $100 engine. This kit didn't even come with the flywheel plastic uh, uh, air movie thingy. Why am I forgetting what the heck it's called? The air fins needed to go on top of the flywheel, so it wasn't even a complete set. So where can you actually get the flywheel for this engine? Well, Coleman Power Sports website, you can purchase the flywheel, two charging coils, fins, four and six by 1.00 by 30 millimeter bolts. Hold the coils in place. Four split ring washers for those bolts, and these are just crush washers. They're gonna be holding things in there very stable. You do not want things to vibrate loose. You will also want two of those crush washers that are about two millimeters thick to lift this ignition coil up further away from the flywheel. Or you need to make sure that your, your magnet for the ignition actually aligns properly. Make sure that those two align properly. You may need a little bit more adjustments for this. Now the hardest thing to come by and the only place I know where to get it is Coleman Power Sports website is this little metal tab right here and it bolts in. You're gonna need a M6 by one by 10 millimeter bolt and screw that or bolt that right in there to make sure that those coils don't get tangled up in your flywheel. The last thing that you'll need to know with the modification to this engine is to slightly turn up your idle speed. That's your engine. It is ready to charge your go-kart, your mini bike, your ATV, your swapped engine, whatever else it is. Coleman Power Sports has the parts to fit nicely for this one. You can go with this engine. Hey, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day.